Hello everyone, this is Lynette with The Skin Candy. Thank you so much for joining us again today, or me again today on another one of my Soapy Time adventures. So, this batch of soaps that we're going to be doing, I guess it would be a new a soap series, is going to be testing all new color, mostly all new colors and all new fragrances. So every one of these fragrances I have never used in soap. The first one um, I'm going to be using is this Crafter's Choice Huckleberry and Magnolia. No, sorry. Blackberry and Magnolia. I can't even read it. I, From what I understand, when I got all of these, every one of these, they had either no vanillin or very, very low vanillin. They all could be used at at least 5% um, for the fragrance rate. And it stated in the reviews that there was no acceleration, rising, or acceleration, rising, or discoloration. So we're going to see. So I already have my oils and butters already melted down. Last time I checked, let's see, it's now it's saying it's 83. A few minutes ago it was saying it was 103. Oh, now it's saying it's 104. So let's just, let's just hurry and mix it up to get a better reading. So it's about 100 degrees, but I'm going to be adding goat's milk to this. So this is fresh goat's milk that came from a local farm, just people that live just down the street from me. And she so generously gives me as much milk as I would like. And I'm going to be adding that. I'm going to be doing the, um, the oil in the oil in the milk in oil method. To this batch, I'm also going to be adding about two tablespoons of colloidal oats and about two tablespoons of kale and clay. Now my kale and clay comes in, I get it in 50 to 100 pound bags. So I have it in a 10 gallon container just right off to the side here. So I can just grab it when I need it. So I'm going to mix that in. And then I'm going to add my goat's milk and then we'll be on our way. Oh, I guess I need to tell you what colors I'm using. So the colors I'm going to be using is this is Mad Micah's Heliotrope. And this is one of their new Uncharted colors. So I bought all of their Uncharted colors and we'll be using them in all of the soaps that I'll be doing the next little while. So this, I love the color of this purple. And then I'm going to be also using Champagne, which is not a new color for Mad Micah's, but I needed a white. So to kind of represent the Magnolia. So, so without further ado, let's get soaping. 